Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and this is my living room. Boy, that clock is off somehow. Uh, it's like seven minutes after four, and that thing is way off. I don't know what happened to this clock. I'll have to see if I can fix that. But it's 92 in Martinez. And you can see the temperature, it's like 72, 4, 6, 8, 78. And over there is the window with the reflectics in it. So if it's 78 when it's 92, that means it's 14 degrees cooler. And I've only got three fans on in here. Now I'm going to go in the bedroom. And by the way, the kitchen, I went out here this morning <clears throat> and uh, without the lights on, it's pitch dark in this kitchen and I had to turn the light on. So now I'm in the hallway and except for sitting in the chair in the hallway, it's actually comfortable in here. Now I'm going to go in the bedroom and here's the bedroom. And you can see it's like 70 degrees in here. This clock works. And there's the reflectix in the window. Even though part of it's exposed, that means in here, I'm sorry, it's not 70 degrees. I read that wrong. My eyes are playing tricks. Here. It's 76. No, 86 is 10. 16 degrees cooler in here than the outside with the fan going on low. So the Reflectix works and works really well. All right, I want to let people know. Um, there's Fuzzy. So you have 92 degrees. Down to 76. That's huge for just a few dollars of Reflectix. Relatively few dollars. And tape. And the living room is 78 when it's been running 85 to 90 in here. When it's 92 outside. And comfortable. And one big difference is with the heat in the kitchen. Before I covered up that half a window, the heat, the light and heat would come in the kitchen. It was roasting even when I wasn't cooking anything. And it's fine now. So I haven't done much today. I gathered up some bottles. I woke up not feeling that great. I had a headache. And I was not awake this morning. I went to make my coffee. And I'm out of my creamer, so I took the milk out. I looked at the bottle and said, oh, August 9th, that's got to be expired. <laughs> and, you know, show me a lesson. I cannot do stuff before coffee. I have to have the coffee first, then I do stuff. So I go, August 9th, yeah, it's so August. And it's not. It's like three, four days. It's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And I thought the Tuesday was the first. Wednesday's the first. So I poured the milk out, and then I did myself a mental face palm. I went, you idiot, George, and uh, <laughs> realized I poured, poured perfectly good milk down the drain. There's the milk bottle. So I'm not going to do that again. But um, uh, this room is comfortable now. I've got this fan going on, and that fan going on, and that's it. And normally, I, and that fan's going on, and normally this one's on. That one's on, that one's on, that one's on. I got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six fans on in here, plus the one down here. And this one's on low. And I have <coughs> the one of the, <coughs> excuse me, quarter. So I know we have seven fans going on here, and I got three. So that's also a big savings in power. And uh, the Reflectix works. So if you got the Reflectix, why the pirate's clock isn't working, I don't know. It's going to drive me crazy. I have to go up there and pull that off and climb back up there again. 
fact, that clock somebody left downstairs runs better than that pirate's clock that I bought on eBay. Go figure. All right. I'll be on live tonight. And uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I'll still sweat in that corner because for some reason that corner gets really hot. But this has made my life a lot more comfortable. This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. If you got a heating application like air ducts or uh, water pipes, that's what Reflect is used for. But if you got a window or a workshop or a room that gets really hot in the summer, you can pull this stuff down, just take the tape off, or you can put holes in it and hang hooks on it and hang it from the ceiling and when you don't need any more take it down but it will work in the winter too it will help keep the heat in and it's made a huge difference in here and I'm not uh, <clears throat> lying here or sitting here sweating and gasping for air anymore I'm doing a little bit of that <clears throat> a little bit of that because of dust and this morning I went out to feed mama cat papa cat mama cat and kitten and bully cat came up and scared them and it was really windy so I went down and left the wet food for them and changed their water. And the wind has made me uh, kind of cough and choke all day because of pollen's in the air. But uh, dropping the temperature down 14 degrees is uh, or so is gigantic. I mean, I'm not uh, sitting here uh, just lying here and, and gasping for air and waking up in a pool of sweat every day. All right. Have a great day. Stay warm, wet, dry, or cool as the case may be. And hopefully you got a wet one and you're cool. And stay safe out there. This is George Senna, the guy from Pittsburgh. Bye-bye for now. Whew.